seven exercises for that full body workout. So guys, press ups first, on your hands, different variations that we can do here. So Nat, yeah, you're gonna grab the chair, Andy's doing our full press up, nice straight back, and then we're gonna go, right. Off we go then, 30 seconds work, that's good stuff. So guys, if you're using the chair, on your knees, keep the chair into your chest, and nice and slow in control. We're going to try and max out for 30 seconds, as many as you can get done while staying in control. Andy, that's excellent stuff, mate. Thank you, Charlie. And, and you, Chloe, keep the elbows nice in, keep them nice and tucked in. Thank you. Are Feel you allowed to rest if you get tired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Always do that one more than what you think you're capable of doing, and then have your rest. Keep your elbows nice and tucked in, that's good. Head to the floor, brilliant. That's it, 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest. Okay. In through the nose, out through the mouth, recover. Right, so we're now going to go on to using your chairs, get the chair behind you. We're going to some tricep dips. So, chair behind you, sitting on the chair, now just pushing yourself off, okay, to make it harder, push your feet further out, to make it easier, bring your feet closer in. So, if you like, Charlie's going there. 30 seconds, let's go. So, as you're going, Again, if you're, feeling, if you're feeling like you need a rest, just sit back and have a little breather, okay? And just be careful not to slip and slide all over the floor. <laughs> Don't get too sweaty. Good guys, 10 seconds left, keep going. <laughs> Feel burn, triceps. One more, one more. Five seconds, five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> and 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got the chairs again next. Uh, Five or, seconds. Or, or, or your fluid bag, your small terrier, your fat pug, whatever's on hand. Right, we're going to do arm raises now. So straight arms if we can, nice and slowly raise so you're parallel, and then back down all nice and controlled. And 30 seconds. Off we go. So it's actually better to go slower. Yeah, slow and in control, and you'll feel it. So you're parallel. parallel. Up to your shoulders, and then back down. And if you're feeling it's tough, if that dog suddenly has put that extra kilo on, if you need to bend your arms and turn it more into a bicep curl, you can do. Andy, watch out for your teeth if you're going to do it. Yeah. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Good stuff. Right, we're going to go up onto the sit up and twist, so keep those books near you. Plonk yourself down on the floor. Just give you another five seconds breather. Guys, obviously, maintain, keep trying to keep the heart rate going as much as we can. But also, what we can do here, it's a variation of the sit up and twist. But if, you can, if you can, bring your feet up off the floor. If not, if you want to keep your feet on the ground, that's fine. But all you're doing, like Charlie's there, is rotating round your trunk. 30 seconds, that's all going. Okay. Again, go fast as or as slow as you want, okay? But try and again maintain that control. You should really be able to feel it, that twisting around your trunk is through your abs, but also down through your sides as well. It's really important. You do loads of twisting in this job. Um, and about us, and Charlie's dance moves also look like that as well. Good, well done guys. Three, two, <laughs> uh, one, <laughs> and stop. <laughs> That's it, another five seconds. And then we're into crowd favour, mountain walkers. So back on your hands, that's it. And then what you wanna do is bring your foot up to the same hand. That's it there, nice. 30 seconds, off we go. 
That's good. If you're struggling to get your feet up towards your hands, you can bring them in um, inside your elbows and just come nice and straight. Like that's doing there. Excellent. Keep, keep working on keeping your back nice and straight. Yeah, good. And then once, once you've got your leg up there, you can drop your hips. Exactly like Chloe's doing really nicely there. I haven't had a good. Ten there. seconds. Where's <laughs> 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 my hand? I can't laugh and <laughs> Five seconds. Oh, wow, one more. Could you tell my door? Yeah. That's it. And rest. Good stuff. 15 second break. Then we're going to some lunges. Start feeling in your legs. Keep rest into the nose. After that. Yes, I got the vet fit boys talking about breathing. <laughs> Five seconds. Cool. So we're just going to go simple forward lunges. Okay. And it's just going to take that step out like Charlie is there. Let's go. So when you're doing this, again, think about under control as well. You're keeping your head up, looking forward. If you want, like Nat's doing there, beautifully hands on the hips. Or Charlie's there, he's just keeping an invisible dog at bay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well done, guys. 15 seconds. Again, you want to feel that stability through your core top of your legs and again round your trunk. Five, you can also add rotations in if you need to. Thank you Charlie, that's right. Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> bit more of a break. One, cool. Why are we finishing with? Squats. Oh. Some squats to really get those legs doing. Yeah. Right, another three or four seconds rest. We all set? Yeah? yeah. Right, off we go then guys. So. Straight, straight back, drop your bum. If you can get anywhere near parallel, that's good. If you can go lower, brilliant. The lower the better. As Nat's saying there, if you've got the book out, that sometimes helps with your balance. And if you're super, super keen, you can do what Andy's doing, attempting to get his off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy, you're doing really, really well to get Thanks, to the <laughs> Good, good, good. 20 seconds. 20 seconds gone or 20 seconds left? 20 seconds gone, you've got 20 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, hopefully we've engaged all of our body muscles at some, to some level. Definitely feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially after the weekend that we've had. Yeah. <laughs> you do with a nice relax now. Well, I guess Over to the pro. that's where I come in, but you don't get to relax quite just yet. So we're going to start off with a minute in downward facing dog. So for those guys, start on all fours. And it's really important here that we have straight backs over straight legs. So tucking the toes, lifting the hips back and up into downward facing dog, keeping the knees bent as much as we need to, to have these really nice straight backs. And this is beautiful. Charlie's doing really well here, lifting those hips up. And he's doing what's really important. He's got this lovely straight back and keeping his knees bent. If you can lower the heels down, go for it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, a minute's quite a long time to spend in downward facing dog. Um, so if you do need to come down at all, please oh, do. Um, time has just gone off, Charlie. Can you help me out? Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Technical difficulties, guys. <laughs> we keep it moving, like just in practice. There we go. Lovely. So, it's a great excuse, if you can do that every round. <laughs> Remember to breathe, inhaling, exhaling through the nose. As you get more familiar with this posture, it can become quite restful. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Taking a nice big inhalation, exhaling, knees down. <sighs> Lovely. Now we're going to flow through some cat cow for a few seconds. So making sure that hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. As we inhale, we're going to bring our shoulder blades together, belly relaxes down, head comes up. If you've got any neck injuries, you can keep your head nice and straight. Exhaling into cow, really feeling those shoulders expand, drawing up through the belly. These are really nice, guys. So just taking care not to lock our elbows. We want a gentle micro bend. Brilliant. And now we're just going to sink back into child pose for a minute to give us a rest from uh, Andy and Charlie's workout. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, toes together, legs are extended wide to the edges of your, what would normally be a yoga mat. 
and you're reaching your hands forward, lowering the forehead to the ground. And this is really great. Now, some of you might have slightly stiffer hips if you do a lot of weightlifting or anything like that. So if you can't sink your hips back to the ground, just try and keep that weight in your hips. Wonderful. And remember to breathe, taking nice deep breaths here. All right, lovely. Coming back up to all fours, guys. So now we're going to take crescent lunge with our right leg. So stepping the right leg forward, keeping the back knee down. And we just want to make sure that our knees are stacked over our ankles. We don't want our knees coming over our toes. Lunging forward, sinking down in the hips. And exactly as Nat's doing, Charlie's doing, you can support yourself on your knee. You just don't want your hands on your, on your knee. So thigh is better. Beautiful. Inhaling, finding legs up through the crown. Exhaling, seeing if you can sink the hips down that little bit lower. These are all really nice, guys. Beautiful. And now, taking a nice big inhalation, as we exhale, we're gonna stick on the same leg, taking it back to runner's lunge. So we're moving our hips back, straightening that front leg as much as we can. Can be quite tricky if like Nat here, you do heaps of running and your hamstrings are a little bit tight. So bend your knee as much as you need to. Try and keep your foot flexed back towards your face if you can. You really feel it in your hamstrings. Yeah. And then if you have got the range, you can lower down over your leg, but just go to wherever is comfortable for you. Beautiful. Just breathe here. Inhaling, trying to find length in the spine. Exhaling, seeing if we can soften down a little bit more. Wonderful. Nice big inhalation. We're going to exhale it back through to all fours. So finding that tabletop position. And we're going to switch it up, taking our left leg forward for that crescent lunge on this side. Finding that safe position, knee stacked over ankle, relaxing the hips down keeping the chest up. All these guys have really nice, broad lifted chest. So that's what we want. Proud chest. <laughs> Excuse Andy's chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> and taking nice deep breaths. Inhaling, we find length. Exhaling, we deepen into the posture. Really lovely. And this time, after we inhale, we're gonna exhale it back into that runner's lunge on the left leg. So taking the hips back, straightening that front leg as much as you can or as comfortable. Remember, you can always keep a bend in it if you need to. Keeping that foot flexed back towards your face is really going to help those hamstrings to open up. And um, these guys can all reach the floor, but remember, you can use that textbook that you had under if you need to bring the floor to you. <laughs> There's no shame in using props. You can actually get a lot more out of the posture often. Beautiful guys, nice big inhalation. Exhaling as it takes us back to all fours. Brilliant. And this time we're going to come through so that we're lying down on our fronts. So obviously just make sure that um, the consult room has been cleaned before you yeah, down in your own practice. And so if we extend our arms out into a nice T shape, perfect. Working together, that's brilliant. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring our right hand in, so um, our hands towards our right shoulder, and we're going to use that to help push ourselves up and over so that we're rolling over onto that left shoulder. So keeping the body down, rolling over. Yeah, you happy? I can feel that all the way along the shoulder back. This is really good, especially if you are doing weights, training in the gym. Um, Andy and Charlie had us doing push ups, this is brilliant for opening up that area. These are really good guys. And then can you see how they're using their right arm just to give themselves a little bit more stretch, pushing into that hand helps just deepen the stretch a little bit there. Beautiful. Nice big inhalation. Exhaling back to center. Taking a moment just to let that side go. <laughs> there we go. And then inhaling and exhaling, we take it over to the other side. Beautiful. So if you can that, you can keep your head on the ground. If that's a little bit uncomfortable, you can actually use this textbook as a little pillow there. It's good. Fantastic. I love a pillow. <laughs> Perfect. This looks really good. It feels really good. Oh, that's great. That's what we want. Brilliant. And <laughs> like classic style, some chimes there just to uh, emphasize how good that's really feeling for 
Just starting to bring a little bit of movement back into your body now. Become aware of any sounds in the room. Perfect. And just slowly, slowly start to bring yourself up to a seated position. You can keep the eyes closed down or softly focused. We're going to come to a seat. Perfect. And from all of us, thank you so much um, for exercising and practicing with us. And we'll catch you soon. Refresh. Namaste. <laughs>